Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video I am making to demonstrate some of the very useful commands in Primera P36. There are several useful commands but some of them I just discussed now here. Fill down and refresh data. So fill down command is used to spread the data uh, in, seven, in the, all the selected or selected range uh, either up or down and similarly the refresh data is used to show the effect of changes uh, bulk changes we are using in the fill down command the to to impact to show the impact of the changes on our script we can use the refresh data so these are very useful command i hope it will contribute something new to your depth to your information to your uh, knowledge so the fill down command, uh, this com fill down command is can be accessed by right click uh, on the anywhere on the uh, primary table table area and then you will find the fill down command. Alternatively, it can be accessed by control plus E and if you press control side, control button and press E, the fill down command will be open. So this command is uh, two ways to uh, access and this it is used, uh, the, the use of this command is that uh, when we are selected our cell and after the selecting the cell, we, uh, we select our range then and then we right click and then we select the fill down so the, the data in the selected cell is spread either up or down in full range of selected data so this uh, the, the uh, distribution it can be useful to spread the acronym the their duration their calendar their start date or sometimes the uh, resources or budget unit can be used to spread very fast in several activity at one one time. So this uh, the in short is that it, in, in summary we can say that the, all the data we are defining as as a uh, which are the user defined can be uh, applied uh, at in, in bulk using the fill down command. In, un, un, only the data which is calculated by PC itself it cannot be defined. For example, total float cannot be defined by cannot be defined by the fill down command. Activity ID cannot be modified using the fill down command because activity ID also you know that it is a header of all the information related to this activity in the P6 database. So we'll see this little bit in more detail in P6 prior itself. And the next command is the fill uh, is the refresh data. So this command can be accessed in from the standard tool group and uh, and can or either can be accessed by pressing F5. So this, as I will discuss little before, that the refresh data is used to sh uh, to show the impact of the changes we make using the fill down command. And because once we make the fill down command, the impact is not fully shown on on all the uh, data in the uh, shown in the Gantt chart. So to show the impact, we need to refresh the uh, refresh the data or refresh the information and. We can access it using the standard tool group or just pressing the F5. So now we will do this thing all in Primera P6 software itself. Let's start in P6. P6 and I open one of my pro pro project. Here you can see that we have several activities here. So if you see, we have activity ID, activity name, their duration, calendar, start, finish, total float, and budget labor units. You can show more uh, information as per your, our requirement. So if you select activity, a uh, first activity ID and then press shift and the last activity ID. And if I press uh, right button, you see that this fill down button uh, option is not available here. So means that the fill down option is not working on the activity ID. Similarly, if I go in activity na uh, name and then select uh, the my last mm -hmm, uh, activity where uh, to where we want to make the changes, just press shift and this button. And then if you select the right click, you can see that our fill down available here. So if you select fill down button, you can see that all the information actually name are changes. So thankful, thank you, Primera, to provide control Z uh, undo button. So I just press control Z to bring it back. So you can see that this uh, this uh, fill down option is available in the activity name. Similarly, it's available in the activity duration also. If you select the first activity and the last activity, we want to make changes. And then you can see we have filled down button here also. Similarly, it is available in the calendar also. Okay, and it's, uh, I'm surprised why it is available in the start also. But maybe there's a reason that if we have several activities starting at the same time without any link. So it is useful then and useful at that is condition. Total float, it will not be available because total float is the calculated field, which is primary calculated. And similarly, budgeted labor unit we can define using the fill down. 
option. So fill down option, as we see that we can go by just clicking the right click anywhere in the activity or just press the range and then press control E. So from control E, you can see that the data activity is spread automatically in all the selected range. And similarly, we go for a control Z to bring it up, to bring back our owner to undo the changes. Similarly, after making these changes, and we want to show the effect of these changes on our screen here. So sometimes it is not shown. So for this, we will go here that this tool just here. You can see a small uh, arrow button here, which is pointing towards left. So if you click this button, you get the option of add or remove button. From this add or remove button, you can see that we have select new already selected new open and close all committed changes and refresh data is not selected. So if you want to refer, you, if you are frequently using in uh, this uh, fill down and fill up button and you need to uh, refresh data. So to to make this command handy, you just click this one. So it will be shown here. So you don't in this case you don't need to go again this all lengthy process of add or remove button and then. Uh, show all the available commands. The other way is that we select anywhere and just press F5 button. Pressing the F5 button will automatically update our all the uh, all the uh, to update the effect of impact of all the changes we use uh, we make by using the fill down option or command. So I hope uh, this video is something uh, some had some new information and for you and if so please consider subscribing and and please uh, uh, like share and this uh, video and if you have any question i will appreciate uh, your suggestion and your advices to uh, to make the videos more uh, helpful for our fellow planning engineers and if you have any question please uh, you are welcome to ask me uh, i will try my level best to answer as early as possible because uh, as a working professional sometimes me too is a little bit busy but i will try my level best to answer your question queries at at my earliest so thank you again for your time see you in next video please don't forget to share and subscribe take care and bye bye